Robert Utley's book, Cavalier in Buckskin, provides a nuanced treatment of Custer the Man. Utley writes that Custer was a man of contradictions. He imposed rigid military discipline, but did not practice it himself. He demanded exact obedience to orders, yet treated orders from superiors with an elasticity overlooked only because of repeated success. Tender and sentimental with intimates, he could be callous, even cruel toward others. Generosity alternated with selfishness, egotism with modesty, impenitence with contrition, exuberance with solemnity. Custer had been athletically sexual ever since adolescence, which led to rifts in his marriage. Gossips accused Custer of infidelity with the wife of a brother officer at Fort Leavenworth Garrison, of being a frequent visitor to brothels, and of having his cook Eliza as his concubine. More substantial evidence linked Custer to a Cheyenne woman captured at the Battle of the Washita. Utley notes that Gilded Age ethics would be seen by modern readers as gross corruption and notes that in the delicate art of extracting kickbacks, Custer himself may not have been a complete innocent. Along with glory, Custer also craved riches. He recklessly plunged into stock market speculation and by early 1876 had incurred losses of $8,500, approximately $185,000 in today's money. He signed a promissory note at 7% interest and Libby Custer, living on a small widow's pension and the proceeds of her own literary efforts, spent years paying off his debts. Udley writes, if these patterns represent reality, they hold important implication for Custer's character. They convict him of brazen hypocrisy. On the one hand, he posed before the world as a man of honor and integrity. On the other, he engaged in unethical, dishonest, or even unlawful schemes. And unless Libby knew of and excused his infidelities, even his marriage was hypocritical. Utley continues, The real Custer, however, is not the significant Custer. The truly significant Custer is the Custer whose death atop Custer Hill transformed him into enduring legend. It is this Custer who has captured the fancy and excited the imagination of peoples all over the world. If one measure of historical significance is impact on human minds, then George Armstrong Custer of legend is a figure of towering significance. This last statement embodies the concept of postmodernism in history. Gone are the days of seeking after truth. There is no truth, or at least no truth that matters. Postmodernists tell us there are only the legends and stories that the storytellers and historians choose to give us. The British historian Alan Munslow sums it up as, the past is not discovered or found, it is created and represented by the historian, and represented by the historian.